there guys, it's uh, Stanley here again um, with another programming video, uh, this time just updating you again on my uh, sideways platform jumping game. Um, so this uh, version of it, um, I've actually put in the animations that I was given, so uh, these and the platform. Um, sadly, oh well, not really sadly, the guy who made them for me, um, I'm, actually, I'm actually very happy with what he made. Um, made one that looked like me and so now I'm theoretically a video game um, well in a video game so as you can see you can jump between your platforms it actually looks quite laggy at the moment it's not this laggy when I'm not recording um, there's still a bit of bumping around there and stuff and uh, yeah <coughs> I might set it so it slowly bumps the person back up rather than jump them straight to above the platform so that they slowly slide to the top again um, but other than that it's actually doing pretty well um, as you can see he has a bad bit of weird animation with his legs um, which I'm going to have fixed by tomorrow hopefully um, the guy said he was going to remake the um, stepping and have another frame because obviously at the moment it's only two frames and so I lost um, yeah, at the moment it's only two frames, um, the one leg being forward and the other leg being forward, so like the, it's only that. We're going to have one in the middle, whereas legs aren't, um, yeah, aren't fully outstretched or whatever, because it looks a bit weird. I mean, it does, it does work. I, I very much like it. But yeah, that just needs to be fixed, and then it'll be all good. Uh, so... Obviously, going to now the code part of it. I imported the three images, uh, the two frames of the character, and then the platform. Uh, then I resized them all, so the character width and height had to be the same every time. So I just would took one for each of them. Uh, I mean, one for both. That works for both, and the platform is as its own. Um, I then transformed them to that scale, um, and then came down here to. Yep, where I blit the character if every seven frames and reset it after it repeats five times. Actually that needs to be seven times to make it a bit more accurate. Obviously that will be changed um, later when I get the next frame because I'll have to do another um, frame in the middle and so that those numbers are going to be messed around a little bit. But I mean it should work nonetheless. Um, I might have to make them a bit less and make it look like he's running faster or a little bit slower, but other than that it works. Um, so we're blitting them here, uh, character 1 being, uh, if it's under frame, uh, under, if the animation count is under 7, then obviously at, at the bottom it's going up by 1 every time. So every 7 repetitions of this uh, function, um, it's changing over to this one, running that 7 times and then going back, it's resetting it here and resetting the repeats and going back to this part of the function here and running this um, uh, this blit again so that it's repeating through um, the first frame to the second frame back to the first frame, back to the second frame, back to the first frame and then we get down to here where we blit, up, blit the um, game display uh, the platform onto the game display. Um, we're using the, the black blocks that were still there. They're now invisible as I've removed the display of them from the thing, but they're still calculating the position within this ALF code here to define where the platform is compared to the character. Uh, that's kind of the same with the character as well. In the background there is a um, a block that is now invisible and it's slightly larger than the old character um, rather than it being I think it was 35 it's now 75 uh, just to go over the back of the um, to fill up the whole area of the thing so no matter where on the feet you land it always looks like you're landing on the um, character's feet um, so that's going to eliminate that error from it but um, 
yeah, that's currently what I have. Um, I'll probably post another um, another update to it in who knows when I get time to do it probably because obviously I've, as, I, as I keep saying I'm kind of running out of time I just had a little bit of time tonight to implicate those um, images which took me about an hour and a half two hours um, that was not working full speed and had to muck around with um, the width and heights and transforming and getting the width and height right and the positioning of the um, character within the uh, image and also the height of the platform compared to where the um, collision works because obviously the um, if you open up an image file such as this one um, hold up. you can see at the top there is a gap here where there's no space um, I mean I could remove it but not really any point um, so I had to work around with that so that it was detecting the block and exactly the level of the top of the grass um, to get that to work so other than that I'm, I'm really happy with how it's coming along um, and yeah I'll be posting another video probably a week or two maybe three. I know I have some a long weekend or something coming up possibly and so I may finish it over that long weekend because obviously I've got mainly just the menu and um, scoring and stuff to go now. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, if you like the video, thumbs it up obviously. Um, if you want to support my channel, share it, whatever. I'm not really bothered but um, do check out the other videos if you didn't watch them first as this is the third video for this um, for this this game um, and yeah okay, see you guys next time